Hello everyone. All right, so this is going to be for Scorpio singles. All right, so let's see what we have for you Scorpios. <laughs> let's see what we have for you when it comes to your single read. I hope everyone is doing quite well, all right? Happy hump day. <laughs> it seems like it's gonna rain, Scorpio, honestly. <clears throat> I'm drinking my ginger ale in the morning, well, in the afternoon. <laughs> so you might be sipping, you might be seeing me, I can't even speak today, see me sipping on it. But let's get entwined with your energy. Let's see what we have here. I hope the mic is not annoying. I have to get something higher to put it on because the table it's like everything that I touch on the table, it, it might pick it up. But I did turn it down a little bit, so I realized that I don't need it all the way up. You know, so. All right, so let's see what we have for you. <clears throat> Scorpio singles. This Scorpio singles, energy, universe, angels, God, our highest power. Plus the energy for Scorpio singles. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you so much. Whew, I feel the energy. I feel like you're free, Scorpio. This is what I'm hearing. Free, okay? And I feel like it's all in your mind. For those of you who feel like you're trapped, because I'm seeing a Capricorn energy that's coming up and trying to manipulate you and thinking that you're not free. They're like trying to make you feel like you need to stay here. You need to help them. You need to stay in this toxic environment here. Um, very hard-headed energy. Why am I seeing like they think they know everything? <clears throat> it's very difficult to conversate with this person or to make your point. There's so many things happening within your energy or your surroundings, Scorpio, that I'm seeing a very overwhelmed energy. It's like you're trying to decide what you need to do here. Um, I feel like you were going back and forth with something. This is what I'm seeing. And you were doing very well in the beginning, but now you kind of like need help and assistance. I'm hearing like you need to ask for help. Don't be afraid to, because once you do, you're going to see that you do have support team around you, okay? Or the angels are going to place people that are going to be helping you going through this time. I feel like when it comes to relationships though, you have you have doubts. And it's because of a lot of experience that you went through, a lot of healing. I feel like things happen and it just wasn't the right time for things to happen. So it wasn't successful. But I'm seeing your angels like watching over you all the time. We have the sun here as well, your bliss. Okay, I'm seeing some kind of relationship coming towards you, Scorpio Singles. I feel like you need to calm down though, because this is as fast as it, is, it happens, as slow as it's, it's going to slow down, you know? It's like, and you're going to feel really disappointed. Hmm. It's like your energy is picking up the same energy that is going to be disappointing you. Like you want your cup to be flowing over with fullness, with fullness, you know, and you are not getting this from this energy. I feel like, yes, this is like a passionate connection between you and this person. This could also be the same person, you know, someone that is quite manipulative, but yet attractive. And you see something in this person, but I feel like you need to watch yourself here because... I'm seeing like this person thinks that you belong to them and you're not going to go anywhere kind of thing. And this is what, why am I feeling like that you, you don't have a stable relationship with this person? Because this person is already attached to someone else's hip. This is what I'm hearing. Um... It's like, you know, like, this is not going to go the way that you want it to go. And I feel like this is going to be, there's going to be a time where you're going to fall in some kind of um, mental awareness or mental um, attack because this person is playing with your mind. But I feel like you're going to take some time to reflect and then come back to this 
and then be you know wanting to communicate if that's something that you need to do for healing and I feel like you're looking for a change you're looking for something more I'm seeing you walking away from this connection for those singles out there you don't want to be anyone's second best you want to be someone's first and this is something that you when and it seemed like you had this some um, awakening you know within your energy singles and you kind of like came back into this new person and now you're just like okay yeah i want i want um i want to be successful here this is what i do want you know energy i want to be and I want to have a relationship for myself. I don't want to be in anybody else's relationship with someone else. I don't want to share, you know? And I feel like you're making this decision for a lot of energies, a lot of energies around you, not just love, but definitely with, you know, family situations as well. You're not going to be taking the drama anymore. This is what I'm hearing. So you're walking away and hopefully finding something better, you know, attracting a better energy, okay? But I'm seeing a past energy following you, whatever you're trying to do. And this is someone that's quite cold. And this is someone that had, you know, someone else, okay? I'm getting twos here, you know, two of swords. I'm getting the, the devil with two people standing here, the lovers with two people here as well. And it's like you have to make a decision. Look at this, a two of pentacles. A lot of twos here. It's like someone is always in your relationship. Someone is always, like, it's very hard for you to find someone that is quite single and they're not messing with someone else. And it's not like you're looking for this particular energy, it's just that it happens. And you're just like, whoa, okay. Like, you want to change now. This is a cycle in the Wheel of Fortune. You feel good about walking away from this. You feel like you're going to find something new. Okay, so we have the Six of Cups. So even a past energy that had some connection to you, you don't feel the same about this person. You know, they had to choose. And they brought a lot of um, drama into your life. A lot of... Oof, a lot of going back and forth. A lot of deceit. A lot of personal embarrassment you know into your into your energy and i feel like this person now is realizing like okay a little bit too much let me slow down i need to make things right here and they are having all these thoughts in their head about you and things that they want to do and things that they wish they can still do with you and they're hoping for the best really and i feel like you know it's going to be a trial and tribulation situation, you know, because you have to come to a conclusion where you want to be with this person still. You know, this is not just their energy, it's yours. <clears throat> but I feel like there was a, a like you liked this person a lot. This is what I'm feeling like you really like them. So tell me more. Tell me more. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles and then the Hangman. And then we have the Three of Swords on the back. Wow, so you're releasing this form of energy. You are. You know, you don't want to be hurt anymore. Now, for those of you who are not in a relationship, this is, I don't feel like this is a relationship relationship. I feel like this is something that, you know, really, you wanted something to happen here, but it just didn't. You know, even if it's a friendship situation, it just, there was always someone in between you guys, or you just couldn't, um make that connection solid or there was someone playing tricks on you here you know wasn't taking you seriously playing games on you but i'm also seeing the hangman here so there's a conflict here that needs to be addressed and this person feels like they're waiting for the right time i feel like this person is watching you or waiting but there's no stability oh my god there is no stability. There is no long-term stability. Even though they're coming back into your life, there is no long-term stability. So you need to know that. All right? And I feel like a lot of you are getting over some kind of heartbreak and a three of swords. And you knew about this. So you knew about this three of swords. For some of you, which is coming up in reverse, like you're just not, it's not affecting you the same way as it did before. I feel like a lot of you are going 
through this temperance, this healing, this time for healing because of your happiness. You want to be in your bliss. You want to be in your sun. You want to be light. Okay, and it's going to cause you to conjure up everything that you do have within you because you feel like you can't breathe. There's so many responsibilities on your back, like you need help. Now, this is what I'm feeling like. You feel like you can't do this anymore. And that's the same thing that I was getting with the two of pentacles here. You need to be free. A lot of you are taking this as your karmic. Like this is what I deserve kind of energy. And I'm also seeing a transformation happening for you. So this is definitely within your mind. This is not something that you deserve. I'm also seeing protect. For some of you, you're protecting yourself or trying to protect your inner child, trying to protect yourself. For some of you have kids around you that you're trying to protect from this as well. Hmm. Very... You're grown from this, though. This is an experience that you need to learn within this physical world. But this is what I see. Um, Scorpio, for your singles, you know, just watch out for this person. This could be a Pisces person, a Capricorn. For some of you, you got Leo vibes. Um, you got Gemini here. <clears throat> you got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so some of you could be with a Gemini, Aquarius, even a Leo or um, a Taurus energy. And yeah, but I feel like this person is coming towards you, but they're coming towards you with no stability. So there's no planning for success, like, you know, a relationship that is going to be, you're going to be stable and you're going to feel secure like you are the only one. There is none of that. So just know that this is what I'm seeing here and to be careful, okay? Love you guys and see you guys in your next reading. Bye guys.